Are you afraid that your land can be taken away by scrupulous individuals, jealous relatives, and all manner of con men out there? In the last video, we explained on how to put a caveat in Kenya. My name is Ruben Kimani, CEO of Username Investment Limited, and this is Real Estate in Kenya. How do you remove a caveat in Kenya? This can be removed by three people. Number one is the person placing the caution or the caveat. Number two, by a court order. Or number three, by the registrar. I'll explain how a registrar can be able to remove it. Through the application of another interested party, not the person who owns the property. The registrar may serve notice on the cautioner to the uh, on the cautioner warning that his or her caution will be removed at the expiration of the time stated in the notice. If at the expiration of the expiration of the time stated, the cautioner has not objected, the registrar may remove the caution. Basically, what I'm saying, if you put a caution on an in, on a property of interest and you don't own the property, when the registrar wants to remove the caution, they will notify you, the cautioner that they are about to remove the caution. If you have any objective, you need to go to the land office. Sometimes they will give you 14 days to be able to do that. If there is no objection by you, the person who put the caution, and maybe you had some disagreement, an agreement with this person that was breached, you had, uh, it might be apparent, letters of administration. If you don't object, that caution will be moved by the registrar. And also at this juncture, I want to say, lodging a caveat or a caution without reasonable cause may lead to the removal of the same by the registrar. There are people who may take advantage, they don't have any interest, they just want to cause problems, and then they go put notice. Just know it will not go through because the registrar is empowered to remove such cautions or to reject such applications. If a person lodges or maintains wrong free, a caution or a caveat without reasonable cause. This person, what happens to such people who put caution without reasonable cause and it goes through? This person are liable and are required to compensate the affected person. Of course, you can go to court and this person will be able to compensate you. So don't be afraid that some, someone may put a caution on you. The law has a way of taking care of your interest. So that's basically how you remove a caution in a country like Kenya. And if you are afraid removing is difficult, your people will be afraid and they will not place it in the first place. It is that easy. You may do a caution to protect your properties. You might be away out of the country. Or maybe you just want to uh, protect your interest in that property. A caution is a good way of protecting your property. Thank you so much for watching uh, these videos. We'll keep producing more. We'd like to remind you, please remember to subscribe down there. Click on the bell button so that you are notified every time we produce this beneficial content. Remember to share with your friends and also comment. We'll be able to answer your question down there. And thank you so much for watching. This is Real Estate in Kenya with Ruben Kimani. Have a nice day. Remember to sanitize. Remember social distance. Take care of yourself and your family.